Everything we can see in the universe, like people, stars, planets, is made of matter. Matter is simply stuff that has mass and takes up space. But here's the thing: there's a lot more to the universe than just the things we can see. Have you ever heard of dark matter and dark energy? These are strange, mysterious forces that are out there shaping the cosmos. But scientists are still trying to figure out exactly what they are. When we talk about normal matter, we mean the stuff we can directly observe, whether with our own eyes or through telescope that detect light beyond what we can see. Most normal matter consists of particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons, and it can exist in various forms such as gas, solid, liquid, or even plasma. But here's the surprising fact: all the normal matter we can see, such as galaxies, stars, planets, mountains, trees, and animals, makes up less than five percent of the entire universe. We don't really know what 96% of the universe is made of. We only know that around 69% of it is dark energy, and around 26% of it is dark matter. But what's the difference between these two? Honestly, it would be amazing if we could solve the mystery of what dark matter and dark energy are. But unfortunately, scientists haven't been able to pin down exactly what they are. The only thing we're certain of is that they are both mysteries beyond what we can explain using the current science, which is why we call them dark. But be very mindful that dark matter and dark energy are not the same thing. Dark matter is pretty sneaky because we cannot see it directly. Astronomers figured out it exists because stars and galaxies and galaxies themselves. Don't move the way they should if all the matter we can see was the only thing there. So there's got to be some invisible stuff that's messing with them, and we call this stuff dark matter. Dark matter doesn't give off any light that we can detect, or maybe just too little to notice. The best guess is that dark matter is made of some unknown subatomic particles. There's also a theory suggesting that dark matter could be made of some. Tiny black holes, and beyond all these theories and guesses, the only thing we are certain of as of date is dark matter seems to be around visible galaxies. Dark energy, on the other hand, is a whole different beast. It's not even matter at all. You might have learned in school that the universe expansion would eventually slow down and reverse. Well, in 1998, astronomers found out otherwise that the expansion isn't slowing down; it's speeding up, and that's where dark energy comes in. We believe dark energy is some kind of invisible force that's pushing the universe to expand faster and faster. Unlike dark matter, which likes to clump together near galaxy, dark energy is spread out all over space. We believe that dark energy is some kind of repulsive gravity that's pushing galaxies apart, making the universe expand faster. So dark matter is already incredibly mysterious, but dark energy might be the universe's greatest enigma. So next time when you hear about dark matter or dark energy, don't just assume that they are related. The common term "dark" is used by scientists to describe our lack of knowledge about them, as if we're still buried within darkness.